senior forward Kevin McCleary had one of his best career outings, leading the Carlton Ravens to an 83-74 win over the McMaster Marauders in OUA crossover action on Saturday evening in the Burridge Gym. The nation's top-ranked Ravens improved to 7-1 in conference play, while the Marauders dropped to 5-3. Mack was slow out of the gate, allowing Carlton to jump up 8-0 to kick off the game, but they came roaring back to top the scoreboard 22-19 after the first quarter. Despite letting an 11-point lead evaporate in the second quarter, the Marauders continued to compete with Carlton, heading into the locker rooms at the half with a 46-42 advantage. Throughout the second half of the game, the teams took turn trading punches and the lead went back and forth. Only when McCleary turned it back on in the paint did the visitors begin to pull away. The Ravens led by six points when McMaster forward Brian Christie was whistled for a controversial fifth foul. Christie picked up a technical foul for arguing the call, as did head coach Joe Razzo. When Raven guard Mike Kenny knocked down the four free throws, the margin was up to 10 and the game was effectively over. For the Ravens, Cleary finished with 30 points, 6 rebounds, and 4 assists. Rookie Tyson Hines added 16 points, while Kenny finished with 14. Keenan Jefferson once again paced the Marauders with 22 points and 8 boards. Cammy Show tallied 17 points and grabbed 8 rebounds, while Tyrell Vernon scored 10 points. Mac kicks off the 2010 portion of their schedule when they meet with the division-leading Thunderwolves in Thunder Bay on January 8th. For the McMaster Marauders, I'm Charlotte Pierre.